Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, loading data onto our Hive database uh, using IM Demo Cloud. The um, first step that we have to do to get that uh, is we're going to load up uh, Excel and we're going to be extracting some data from our uh, student tracker database. Now, um, the way I usually use Hive is more for archiving purposes or data warehousing. Uh, I can throw some data up there and I can, uh, I, I can use it, um, you know, I can query it. And that's the most important thing is being able to query it, uh, and you know, in a cloud setting. So uh, to do this, we're going to, to connect to our uh, SQL server. Um, we're going to look at it like this. So here we're gonna, we go to the data and then we go from other sources, then SQL server. Here we're connecting to my uh, my server name is uh, Chris uh, Dash Laptop. Yours may be entirely different, uh, but the default is MS SQL Server. Um, that is uh, when you install SQL Server, you'll automatically have a server name set up with your name, unless you name it something different. So we'll go next. This will bring up a list of uh, databases that are attached to your server. And <coughs> I'm going to look at uh, students right now. I click next, and I'm going to push finish. Now I have one already set up. It's just asking, do I want to replace it? I say yes, because I don't need to worry about it. Uh, I'm going to put it into the existing worksheet. You could simply create a new worksheet. It doesn't really make any difference in this case. But if you've already got data in there, you should probably click on uh, new worksheet. I'm going to use the current one that I'm in. Okay, so here we have our data. Now what's interesting about this, um, you'll notice that this column is a date, uh, a date of birth. The other ones are date and time, okay? Um, we have, so in other words, these are date and time format, this is a date. So in Hive, uh, Hive accepts uh, the format of date or timestamp. Uh, date is only a date, perfect for this one. Uh, but timestamp is perfect for this one. However, the important thing to recognize is take a look at the formatting here, okay? The formatting of the date is very key. Now, just so we're, we understand here, we're, we're going to do a, a full ETL process. So we've already extracted the data in this process here. Our T now is transformation, so we're going to transform that data into uh, usable format that we can get into another spot, uh, which is the process of loading the data, that's the L. So at this point, we are uh, going to, this format is fine, the, the date that Hive accepts here is uh, ISO format, which is year, month, and day. That's a sortable date format, and that's, for, that's why it's, uh, it's a good way of looking at it. The next ones here, we have create date and edit date. Now, you'll notice here, and this is a confusing one here. You see this in the date, it has these dashes, and this one's got slashes. It's also opposite, so it has month, day, year. So we have to flip that. So what we have to do here is format the date. So if you right click on those columns, and again, I, I've highlighted the columns just by, just by dragging across E and F. I right click in the area that's highlighted, go to format cells, and then I go to custom, okay? Uh, from custom, I'm going to put in the ISO format. So dash, uh, so it's YYY, that gives you the full year. MM, that gives you a two digit month. DD gives you uh, like a, a padded zero number, so uh, the first of the month would be zero one. Next one is hour, so an, again it's a padded number, so it's a zero one for one o'clock. Next one is MM, which is once again it's a it's a padded number, and you'll always get two digits out of that. And then we have seconds and then milliseconds down here. We're just going to use zeros because we don't track those, but it does, uh, does kind of uh, need it to, to be there. <coughs> so if we push OK, we now have our dates formatted the way Hive will appreciate them. So from here, we can go to Save As, and we're going to be saving this as a comma-separated file. And we're going to put this into, let's, uh, let's put this into our, 
lesson plans, make sure they're in our videos, go to Hive, Hive examples, and we are going to save this as a comma delimited file. So I'm going to save that. I have one already there, but I'm going to open it up and then hit OK. And we push OK. All right. Now, uh, we can close this file up. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to load that file and um, just make some sense of it. So I'm going to show you what, uh, what we produced on the other end here. Okay, so if I load this up into Notepad++, my file looks like this now, right? Um, our dates are nicely formatted. Uh, what else can I say? Everything looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, we don't have to think about too much else. Got our dates, uh, good, excellent. So the next thing that we have to do here is we have to log into our IM Demo Cloud. Uh, I have a connection set up here in WinSCP. If you're, if you're not familiar with WinSCP, I would recommend that you watch one of my videos on uh, administrating uh, in WinSCP uh, and you can uh, be up and running in about five minutes. But the other thing that you must have as well is an IM Demo Cloud account. So uh, go to myimdemocloud.com. That's the final uh, address there. Let's uh, bring it up. Go there and uh, get yourself signed up. So dot IM demo cloud, and you can sign up for an account here. It's free, and you'll at least be able to uh, get through this lesson. Uh, the principles, however, still follow through with what we've done with what you do with uh, setting up your Hive connections on your Hive. So it doesn't really matter whether you're on IM Demo Cloud or wherever else. So we click on Login. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the file that we just created and we're going to move it over to, um, we're going to move that over to our uh, home folder. And this is going to put things in an easier location here there we go all right so we have students.csv we're going to move that over to our home folder this is our home folder okay we now have it over there the next step we load up our putty session enter in your password and then type hive so from hive here we're going to now start working on uh, on actually loading some data so first thing that we have to do is we actually have to use um, we have to use some commands. Now, <coughs> if you have not got a database already set up in uh, IM Demo Cloud, um, use your username. So uh, in this case, you could do a create database username. So for me, uh, that command was right Chris G D Y C K, right just like that. Okay, uh, once you've done that, you're going to do use, you're going to use that database. And you notice these semicolons at the end here. That's a very important part. That's a, a statement terminator. So if you push enter, it recognizes that's a statement that is being executed and you uh, go up and enter that in. Okay, so I have already created a database for myself. So I'm going to simply use it. All right. So we use the, the database <coughs> we are now in. If I show tables here, I see that there is no tables available. It just says OK and time taken. That's a little less than a second. The next thing we're going to do is create a table. So first off, we have this first line, which actually creates the table. If I ran that statement just as is with a semicolon, it would just be fine. It would just create a table, and I would just uh, be able to start uh, putting information in. But what we are doing is we are creating a text file table. In other words, we're taking all the information over from our text file uh, CSV and we're putting it into the, into the database. So the other statement that we have here, TBL properties, will ask it to skip the header line because if you recall, our first line here is, uh, is a header. And if I import that data, we're going to have some problems with the, the data that's going in. It will go in as, as uh, invalid information. So let's um, take this, uh, this command here. We're going to copy all that information over. <coughs> and as I, as I said, 
once I paste it in here, um, I've got this semicolon. All I have to do is press enter, and then my table is created. So now if I do show tables, right, I have this students table. If I describe the table, describe students, right, you'll see it has student ID, first name, last name, date of birth, uh, create date, edit date. And you'll notice as well, it just converted everything to lowercase. So the fact that I've got everything in uppercase and you know different cases, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't make any difference what, uh, what you, uh, you put in there as, as being case sensitive. So don't worry about that, that too much. The next step is we're going to load the data in. Okay, so this command here, load data local in path. Okay, so it's taking data from the local uh, system and putting it into uh, into our students table. Okay, this is the folder location where I have that CSV file. And just so you so you see, this is the folder, right? And then there's my file right there. Okay, so we're going to copy that statement, and now we're just going to uh, going to paste it in. I'll push enter, <coughs> students uh, data is in, and I can now do a uh, select, and that shows all of my data. Let's just widen this a bit so we can run that command again. I'll just push cursor up, and there we have it. We have all of our data in the way we needed it to be. Okay, done, ready to go. Okay, guys, so that is, uh, that is it for this video. Uh, we've got our data in. We don't need to think about anything else for now. I'm going to be moving on to another uh, video where I uh, pull that data from the archives in, in our uh, web application. So if you haven't um, watched that video, I would definitely suggest you go into the uh, MVC web applications uh, playlist and uh, follow through with that, and we'll catch you in, uh, at the end of that video. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember to like and share, and please do subscribe. It really helps. Take care.